This AI avatar has made me over $600 and counting so far. And it all started from one simple image. I'm sharing this with you to show you that it's completely possible and that you can do it too. If you've always wanted to get into content creation or start a YouTube channel, but you don't want to show your face, or maybe you don't have the budget to buy recording equipment and start your content creation journey, I'm here to let you know that shouldn't stop you. Because right now, you can create your own AI avatar, use it to build a brand, monetize it in many different ways, and start earning income online. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own talking AI avatar step by step, from creating the image to making your AI avatar talk with perfect lip sync. You just have one simple assignment. Watch this video all the way till the end so that you don't miss any important step. And by the way, before we even get started, I want to let you know that if you're also interested in learning how to build a brand and monetize your own AI avatar in different ways, I'm creating a video course that will be coming out soon. Right now, I've opened a waitlist that you can join, and there are limited spots available. Everyone who joins the waitlist will get exclusive advantages such as early access when the course launches and a special launch price that will only be available to waitlist members. So make sure you don't miss out. You can check out the first link in the description of this video to join before the spots fill up. Now, if you're ready to learn how to create your own talking AI avatar, go ahead and like this video because it's free. All right, the first step is creating the image for your AI avatar, and it all begins with ChatGPT. You'll be using it to generate a detailed prompt that you can use to create the image for your AI avatar. On ChatGPT, you can give it a prompt like, Hey ChatGPT, please write me a prompt I can use to create an image for my talking AI avatar. It will be a female AI avatar, 25 years old, and the style should be photorealistic. The image should be in a 16.9 landscape ratio, but don't include the ratio in the prompt. In the prompt, specify that the woman is seated upright, facing forward, looking directly into the camera. Her mouth should be closed and she shouldn't be smiling, but she should have a friendly expression. I'll let you choose the background, but make it a cute one. Also, in the prompt, say that the background is slightly blurred so the subject remains the main focus. Now please write the prompt. It's very important to write a detailed prompt when using ChatGPT to help you with this so that the result comes out well and produces amazing images when you use it in your AI image generator. So be specific about what you want and what you don't want. And don't just write a shallow prompt like, write me a prompt to create an image. After ChatGPT gives you the prompt, make sure you read through it carefully and check if there's anything you want to add, remove, or change. For example, in my case, I asked ChatGPT to remove the phrase talking AI avatar from the prompt because I didn't want it included. I also wanted it to describe the background instead of offering two different options. And I realized I had forgotten gotten to tell it to include a description of the clothing and the hair color for the avatar. So I asked ChatGPT to make those changes. And that's what I mean when I say you can tweak the prompt after it has generated one for you. You can go back and edit it until it includes exactly what you need. Once you're satisfied with your prompt, copy it and move on to the next step, which is generating your image. For this, we'll be using an amazing tool called Whisk AI. The link to the tool is in the description of this video. Click the link, sign up for an account, and once you're logged in, it will bring you to the main page where you can create a new project. Paste your prompt there, and then choose your aspect ratio. Use 16 by 9 if you're creating for YouTube, or 9 by 16 if you plan to use it for platforms like Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Facebook Reels. After that, click on Generate and wait for the images to load. Whisk AI usually gives you two images to choose from. Pick the one you like most and use it as your AI avatar. Here's a useful tip. You can lock the seed to maintain consistency in your future generation. Note down the seed number or take a screenshot of it so that you can use it later if you want to generate more images that look similar to the one you've chosen. This comes in handy if you want to create the same character but with different outfits. To change clothing, you can simply change the description of the clothing to another one and then generate again to see what new options come up while keeping the same character's appearance. If this method doesn't maintain the same consistency, there's another approach. Choose the image you like, delete the prompt, and type something like, change her clothing to a white hoodie. Then click Generate. This will create new images of the same character, but with the new clothing. You can also remove or add specific details in your image. 
Let's say you want to remove this potted plant in this image. Just write, remove the potted plant that's on the table and click generate. And as you can see, the potted plant is now removed. So feel free to experiment with these prompts and try adding or removing elements to see what results you get. Once you have your final image, it's time to enhance it a bit. This step is optional, but if you'd like to make some adjustments, you can use Canva. And on your homepage, click on video and select video landscape. Upload your image by going to the Uploads tab and adding it to your canvas. For my image, I wanted to crop out the hands that were visible, so I resized the image to remove that part and positioned it in the center. You can also increase brightness, sharpness, or even upscale the image. To upscale your image, select it, click Edit, scroll to Apps, and choose the Image Upscaler tool. You can upscale it two times, four times, or eight times depending on what you want. For my case, I didn't want to upscale it, so I simply adjusted the brightness and sharpness slightly under the adjust settings. Once you're done, click Share, then Download. Choose PNG as the file type and download your image. Now your image is ready, and it's time to make your AI avatar talk with perfect lip sync. For this, we'll be using a tool called HeyGen. Click the link in the description and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Once you log in, you'll be taken to your homepage. There are two ways you can make your avatar talk using HeyGen. The first is by using the photo to video avatar feature with Avatar 4, and the second is by uploading your image to the avatars section and generating motion from it. I'll show you both methods so you can choose the one that works best for you. Let's start with the first method. Go to your homepage and click on Photo to Video. Then you'll upload your image here and type or paste your script in the script box. You can also upload or record your audio if you prefer. For my case, I'm going to type in a simple script just to demonstrate how it works. Then click Select Voice, and HeyGen will automatically match three voices based on the image of your avatar. You can listen to these options and see if any of them sound right for your avatar. If none of them match the tone or personality you're going for, simply scroll down and explore the full list of available voices. Choose one that fits best. Play it with your script to test how it sounds. And if it feels right, you can move on to the next step. But if it still doesn't sound quite like your avatar, go ahead and try out different voices until you're completely satisfied with how your avatar speaks. Then below, you'll add the motion prompt, which is basically describing the gestures and facial expressions you want. The best part is that HeyGen provides built-in templates, so you can easily choose one that fits your video style. For example, calm and focused, or excited and emotive. Once you select a template, HeyGen automatically fills in the motion prompt for you. After that, choose the highest resolution available based on your plan, click Generate Video, and the system will start creating your video. We'll get to see the result for Method 1 at the end of this tutorial. For now, let me show you method two so you can see how it works as well. Click on the avatars tab, then click create new and choose start from a photo. Upload your image and once it finishes reviewing, click continue. Next, name your avatar, select its age group, such as young adult, and choose the gender. Hagen will automatically detect and assign an ethnicity, but if it doesn't match your uploaded image, you can easily change it to one that fits better. Once done, click Continue. Since I've already used up all my available photo avatar slots under my plan, I won't be able to proceed to the next step here. But typically, the next page will ask whether you want to use the image for a new avatar or add it in an existing one. Once you confirm, your image will be uploaded and displayed in your avatar list. To show you an example, I'll open one of my existing avatars so you can see how the image appeared. After your image is uploaded, click on it to open the motion creation option. Here, you can add motion to convert your still image into a 10 second animated clip with natural body movements. You can either use one of HeyGen's ready-made motion templates or write your own custom motion prompt describing the gestures and expressions you want. However, there's one line I recommend removing from Hagen's preset prompt, which is, the background elements subtly move to enhance realism. Delete that part to keep the camera completely static and ensure there are no elements moving in the background. Once your motion prompt is ready, select your motion engine, choose how many motion variations you want to generate, I usually leave it at one, and click Generate Looks. Hagen will then create the motion for you. After it finishes, you can preview the result. That's the motion it generated for us, and you can see how it turned out. That's how you create a motion in Method 2. If you're not satisfied with the motion, you can regenerate it. 
However, I usually avoid using the Regenerate Motion option because it deletes the previous motion and replaces it with the new one. Instead, I prefer keeping the original motion and creating a new one from scratch so I can compare both and choose the one I like most. Once you've found a motion you're happy with, select it and click Create with AI Studio. Inside AI Studio, you can either type or upload your script audio. This is where HeyGen will generate your final talking avatar video, syncing the lips perfectly with your chosen script or voice recording. You can also change the voice by clicking the voice section, browsing the HeyGen's library and select a different voice. Then make sure to switch from Digital Twin using Avatar 4 to Avatar Unlimited to avoid using up your limited Avatar 4 minutes, as those are capped depending on your plan. After setting everything up, click Generate, give your video a name, and HeyGen will begin creating your final avatar video with perfect lip sync according to your script or uploaded audio. I won't generate a video here using this method. This was just to show you how it's done. Now let's go ahead and review the results from method one, which used avatar four. Hey there, kindly like this video if you're still here watching. That looks great, the lip sync is very accurate, and the video came out beautifully. And that's exactly how you can make your AI avatar talk. So feel free to comment below and share your thoughts on how Heijin performed. Did the video come out well? How's the lip sync? And by the way, I read all your comments and would love to hear your feedback. Now, that's how I create my talking AI avatars. And it's the same process I use to build my brand and monetize through them. On that note, don't forget to join the waitlist for my upcoming video course. Be among the early members who'll get access to the special early bird launch price and early entry before the course officially releases. The waitlist link is the first one in this video's description. Make sure you don't miss out, because this course will walk you through everything I do to build a brand using AI avatars and turn it into a source of income online. The spots are limited, so go ahead and join the waitlist today. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and that it's given you the clarity to start creating your own AI avatars right away. You'll find all the tools mentioned in this video linked in the description. Go and try them out and see how they work for you. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you'd love to see more tutorials like this, subscribe to the channel because it's completely free. That way, you'll stay updated on more content about AI avatars or AI influencers. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end. I hope to see you in this next video.